here at CES, one of the biggest trends has been wearables. But beyond what you can wear on the wrist, we've seen this amazing dress. And I'm here with the designer, Anouk. Anouk, what is this dress? Um, it's a robotic spider dress. So as soon as you uh, walk into her personal space, uh, she starts to attack you. So let's try. <laughs> 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 oh yes. Yeah. Can you tell us about the sensors on the dress? Um, yeah, there's two um, two sensors embedded in the under just under her chin, which is uh, sensing her space around her body. So her intimate space, her personal space, her social space, and the public space. So depending on how somebody walks into her personal space, the system starts to react um, uh, in different states of behavior. And what inspired you to make this dress? Uh, what inspired me to make this dress? Um, I think my love for mechanics and um, yeah, the, the love for technology uh, on sich. Like um, there's an Intel Edison embedded in this design, uh, which we created with a team of, uh, at Intel. The research is mostly based about the, the space that we have around the body and the personal space that we invite people into. And do you find it's a comfortable dress to wear? Yeah, we can ask. Is it comfortable? It actually is. It's very comfortable. <laughs> fit in, fit into my body. It's, yeah. it's beautiful dress. Yeah. And my final question is the practical applications. Like for yourself, could you see yourself wearing this out in a night out, maybe in London or? Maybe if other people start wearing it out. <laughs> yeah, so if other people start wearing it out. For you, what's the practical applications of this technology beyond the dress? For me, about the notion of creating these dresses, um, it's um, it's a new nature in where we, as human beings, can have embedded sensors on our bodies and use them in any way that we can do. I do it in this way, but uh, like sensors are embedded and soon will be embedded in more and more things around us. So I I, I I would love to see the things around us become more sensoric.